everyone i am dr c s vilkarni md and i am going to teach medical biochemistry before i start the topic please like share and if you are new to the channel please subscribe it so that the next video will be intimated to you in the last session we ended up with synthesis of fatty acids in today's session we will start with the cycling of reactions in which condensation reduction dehydration and reduction are repeated then we have coenzymes of fatty acids synthesis which include pentose phosphate pathway and pyric acid then we have inherited disorders such as zellweger syndrome and dicarboxylic acid urea and lastly we have synthesis of triglycerides good morning everyone let us begin the topic cycling of reactions the butyl group or the fourth carbon containing group is now transferred to the sh group of the condensing enzyme or on the other monomer and a second molecule a second maronyl co molecule binds to the phosphopentonyl sh group the sequence of reactions namely condensation reduction dehydration and reduction that is step 3 4 5 and 6 are repeated the cycles are repeated a total of seven times till the 16 carbon palmitic acid is formed coming to step 7 palmitic acid is released the thioesterase or deacidase activity releases palmitate from the multi enzyme complex the end point is palmitic acid in liver and adipose tissue but in lactating membrane glands the end products are capric acid and lauric acids in this diagram we can see fyodor relin who discovered de novo synthesis of fatty acids in this butyl acp undergoes seven times the cycle to finally obtain palmitic acid in the presence of enzyme thioesterase mother soil contains these fat medium chain fatty acids whereas cow milk cow's milk contains odd number of fatty acids coming to the de novo summary of de novo synthesis the net reaction of de novo synthesis of fatty acid may be summarized as 1 acetyl coa plus 7 maronyl coa plus 4 14 nadph plus 14 h plus gives 1 palmitate plus 7 hco2 plus 14 nadp plus plus 8 coenzyme a plus 6 h2o coming to the coenzymes of fatty acid synthesis an important point to remember is that the coenzyme utilized for de novo synthesis is nadph the sources of nadph of for fatty acid synthesis are first the pentose phosphate pathway this is the main source tissues having lipogenesis like liver adipose tissue and lactating mammary gland have an active hmp shunt pathway second is malic enzyme malate plus nadp plus gives pyruvate plus co2 plus nadp plus s plus the reaction also helps the transfer of cytoplasmic oxaloacetate to the mitochondria for every molecule of acetyl coa delivered to the cytoplasm one molecule of nadph is formed and reducing equivalents are generated in cytoplasm coming to regulation of fatty acid synthesis availability of substrate uh, fatty acid synthesis occurs when carbohydrate is low is high and the level of fatty acids is low the availability of citrate in the cytoplasm is the most important regulatory factor produced producing short term effects second enzyme is acetyl coa carboxylase it is the key enzyme citrate activates this enzyme the citrate level is high only when both acetyl coa and atp are increased covariant modification is another regulatory mechanism phosphorylation inactivates acetyl coa acetyl coa carboxylase similar to glycogen synthesis 
अंडर द इफेक्ट ऑफ ग्लूकागॉन थर्ड पॉइंट इज इंसुलिन फेवर्स लाइकोजेनेसिस हेंस फैटी एसिड सिंथेसिस इंक्रीजेस व्हेन ग्लूकोज लेवल इज डिक्रीज द एंजाइम इज डिक्रीज बाय पामिड ऑयल कोई दैट इज द एंड प्रोडक्ट इंसुलिन इंक्रीजेस द अपटेक ऑफ ग्लूकोज बाय एडिपोसाइड्स एंड ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस द एक्टिविटी ऑफ पायरोवेट डिहाइड्रोजनेस एसिडल कोई कार्बोक्सिलेज and glycerol phosphate acyl transferase insulin also decreases the hormone sensitive lipase here you can see glucagon and noradrenaline bind to the hormone receptor on the membrane stimulates the g protein this g protein stimulates adrenal cyclase which converts atp to cyclic amp cyclic amp inactivates Uh, activates the inact, uh, active kinase inactive kinase to active kinase then this active kinase stimulates inactive hormone sensitive lipase to active hormone sensitive lipase with the presence of conversion of atp to adp then this hormone sensitive lipase uh, generates to try glycerol to form free fatty acid fourth point is glucagon inhibits lipogenesis glucagon and epinephrine decrease the acetyl coa carboxylase by phosphorylating enzyme coming to inherited disorders the inherited effects on the enzyme of beta oxidation and ketogenesis also lead to non ketotic hypoglycemia coma coma and fatty liver effects are known in long and short chain by 3 hydroxy acyl coa dehydrogenase three keto acyl coa thiolase and hmg coa lyase also affect the degradation of co leucine which is a ketogenic amino acid carboxylic acid urea is characterized by excretion of excretion of dicarboxylic acids and by non ketotic hypoglycemia it is caused by a lack of mitochondrial medium chain acyl coa dehydrogenase zegel zellweger syndrome or cerebro hepatorenal syndrome occurs in individuals with a rare disease rare absence of peroxisomes in all tissues they accumulate c26 to c38 polyenoic acids in the brain tissue and also exhibits a generalized loss of peroxisomal function example impaired bile acid and ether lipid synthesis liver and adipose tissue are the major sites of triacylglycerol synthesis a th synthesis in adipose tissue for is for storage of energy whereas in liver it is mainly secreted by a vldn and is transported to peripheral tissues the tag is synthesized by esterification of fatty acid acyl coa with either glycerol 3 phosphate or trihydroxy acetone phosphate the glycerol part of the fat is derived from metabolic sum of glucose dhab is an intermediate by of glycolysis glycerol 3 phosphate may be formed by phosphorylation of glycerol or by reduction of trihydroxy acetone phosphate in adipose tissue glycerol kinase is decreased and is a major source of dihydroxy acetone phosphate derived from glycolysis however in liver glycerol kinase is increased the fatty acyl coa molecules transfer fatty acid to the hydroxy hydroxyl groups of glycerol by specific acyl transferases the addition in addition to these two pathways in the intestinal mucosal cells the tag synthesis occurs by M- mag pathway the two mag absorb absorb in the esterified reesterified with fatty acyl coa to form triacyl glycerol this is a diagram showing the triacyl glycerol synthesis fatty 
fat droplets and muscle come together and form monoacylglycerides and fatty acids these two uh, then diffuse into the enterocyte then enter the en- endoplasmic reticulum then triacylglycerol glycerol is synthesized in endoplasmic reticulum then triacylglycerol plus lipoprotein mixes and they form the chylomicron and enter the lacteals esterification of fatty acyl coa and glycerol phosphate produces triacylglycerol occurs at a rapid rate during the fat state under conditions of fasting it is seen that synthesis of triacylglycerol occurs side by side with lipolysis in the free fatty acid level is increased in plasma the glycerol phosphate is derived from the metabolism of glucose in the fat state by channeling channeling dihydroxyisobutyl phosphate and intermediate of glycolysis in the fasting state the glycerol phosphate is derived from dihydroxyisobutyl phosphate from formed during gluconeogenesis the activity of pepck that is phosphorinol pyruvate carboxykinase is increased in liver and adipose tissue during conditions of fasting so that glycerol phosphate is available to esterify and store the excess fatty acid mobile mobilization here ends our session kindly like share and subscribe the channel thank you